Good morning. I'm very pleased this morning to be joined by Paris Baker, who's the Customer Success Manager, CSM at Zelix. And Zelix has been a partner of ours for the longest time. And um, we're very pleased, actually, to have you in our community. And we've, we've done loads, and you're gonna, we're going to hear about what you've been up to. But most recently, um, Jamie, I was supposed to be there as well, but I had a bit of a, a misfort, you know, mishap on trains. But Jamie spent a day at your, was it your annual customer success or user group thing? And he said he was amazed. Like, and I want you to tell us what you've been up to and what's coming. We'll go through it all. But yeah, what, what, what's been going on? Hi, yeah. So um, it's been a busy, it's been a busy year, to be honest, but especially a busy quarter. Um, so yeah, we had our annual UK customer day um, last week. And Jamie came and led a panel, which was really, really interesting talking about the challenges, um, or just general AP challenges, really. Um, and other than that, we've been traveling all over, really going to conferences, we've been to conferences in the US in Europe, all, all over the UK. Um, we've been um, developing the, the modules. We've got a very brand new product coming out early next year, which is super exciting. So we've been doing a lot of work on that. We've also launched a new website and um, new branding. So everything Zelix has had um, a nice lick of paint. Um, and also just, you know, all the usual working with our customers, trying to meet as many of them as possible in person doing training, development, taking feedback. Um, and, and yeah, so it's been, it's been a busy, a busy time. <laughs> um, well, you were obviously at the conference, you won an award. Um, tell us, we'll, we'll cover the conference separately, but what do you most like about being part, a partner of and, and part of as an influencer in our community? Yeah, so the APA conference is probably one of the highlights for us um, because it is just so much fun. Everybody is so lovely. It's such a lovely community, I would say, for one. Um, and everyone is A, so friendly and B, so passionate about AP and wants to learn um, and wants wants to help each other, really. Um, and yeah, so we came to, to the conference um, and it was so lovely to touch base with so many of our customers, um, so many of them sharing stories. Um, we also led a session, which was really lovely, hearing about one of our customers' you know, experience of working with Zelix and being part of the APA. Um, and I think also it's just a really lovely way to get feedback. A lot of the, you know, the key um, AP, I think they call them their, their key leaders or um, key, key, key influencers. Leaders. Yeah, influencers. That's the one. Sorry, they. Um, they have lots of good feedback for us and recommendations and um yeah it's just a it's a really really great group of people well congratulations both on um you know the the support for the event we can't do it without the support of sponsors such as yourselves who are so committed to helping us build this community of lovely ap people and raising our profile and setting the benchmark standard for all that we do in the training space um, and professional development but you also in addition to, to sponsoring um, an award yourselves, which, yep, the Significant Team Achievement Award, you also won the, the coveted Solution <laughs> Provider of the Year Award. Now, tell me, I, I know, I only found out in the morning, actually, that you'd won, because I, I don't know, and Jamie keeps it under wraps, and it's actually arbitrated by an independent panel. Um, most people go to awards things, and they think whoever has got the biggest checkbook gets the most awards <laughs> it is not the case at the apa we have um well i could tell you who's on the panel but the, you know they're from outside the industry people who work i mean karen young's on the panel jamie is chairman of the panel but he doesn't have a vote we just bring senior influencers and leaders together um and we ask all of our um partners to submit case studies and tell me why you won because you know you saw the case studies i'm guessing yeah, we did. Uh, we did. It was a really rewarding um, experience reading the case studies and hearing about um, customers feedback and, you know, how they see their their experience of working with Zelix. I think um, one of the well, the two kind of well, three main things is a um, the product really, really solves headaches um, that need to be solved and that are incredibly mundane without Zelix. And we do it in a very speedy process. So I guess one, it's just a really, really, um, very clever product. So credit to our product team. Um, and 
second to that, you know, the product team really, really value feedback and they never have the, um, you know, the outlook that a product is finished. They always think there's more to be done. And we really do, our roadmap is really guided by our customers and by their feedback. So one of the key things that my team do is speak to our customers and constantly ask for feedback and suggestions. Um, so I think those are kind of the two main ones. And, um, you know, hopefully also there's a lot of resources where as a CSM team, we're very available and want to really support our customers as much as possible. Try and have, you know, a lot of um, meetings, ideally in person, but often not possible, but just, you know, they always have that key contact. Um, so, yeah, it was very it was a very um, rewarding time. So we're very grateful for everyone who voted for us. Yeah, no, congratulations again. It's um, it, There's going to be some fierce competition for next year's award. Now everyone's realised that you have to actually get your customers to do a lot of talking and you can't just, um, you know, submit a load of names and hope you're going to get picked out of a hat. <laughs> yeah. It is it is um, a meritocracy um, for all of our awards. And the, the, some of the stories for some of the awards are actually, like, really powerful, um, especially things like overcoming adversity and the well-being ones some of the, some of the challenges our members go through are um, profound both in their own personal development but also the challenges of changing the function within you know dynamic businesses and what have you but i know that one of the things that's contributed to the cohesion of your um customer base you've always been very customer centric and Alyssa was um well jamie told me all about it but Alyssa and i've been talking um about the value of bringing everybody together into a a learning management environment, a forum, an academy. We do it as a community on the wider APA scale, but you've embraced that for your own customers, I believe. Tell me briefly a little bit how that works. If you're a Zelix customer, what do you get? Yeah, so every every customer um, gets a, well, first of all, they get a dedicated customer success manager who's there to fully support them. And ultimately, our, our goal is to make sure that our customers are getting value. Um, additionally to that, you've got your, you know, your implementation manager who's there to set you up as smoothly and speedily as possible. Um, and then throughout throughout the period, you know, whether it's three years, five years, whatever it may be, we're there, the customer success manager is there to support the team. And then the back end, we've got, you know, our data science team and, um, you know, lots of the, the very, very clever technical guys looking at, you know, the engagement on the platform and the models and the results and saying, you know, maybe there are some tweaks that we can make. Um, I think also we we really love speaking to our customers kind of as I already alluded to and getting feedback and understanding, you know, the situation. And, you know, it's been a tricky year this year. It's been, you know, financially for many, many companies across the globe. And so with our customers, we've really tried to support them the best we can and, and really help them. And I, I think also, you know, that's a big part of Zelix is kind of helping save funds. So um, we've really tried to to work with our customers to to make the product as as you know useful and um, necessary for them as possible. Yeah, and, and long may that continue. I, 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 many of um, our partners adopt a similar approach, and it's a it's a recipe for success always. Yeah. Customer first. Um, Jamie was chatting with Paul, your CEO, yeah. founder, founder and CEO, right. um, <laughs> and and um, really excited about. Um, where you're heading the growth opportunities obviously we're growing as a community and with your help we're reaching out to a, a wider audience all the time yeah. um and we're looking forward to working closely with you for 2024 um yeah. in terms of i mean it's kind of under wraps we've we've announced what we're doing i know you're going to be at most if not all of it but also what have you got coming up in 2024 that our members might need to be aware of yeah, so yeah, we'll definitely be on the event circuit next year, that's for sure. Um, I think our kind of biggest um, excitement in terms of the product um, arena is we are launching a new product um, called the Help Desk, um, which we're hoping will be launching in early Q1. Um, and it's really going to be helping our customers manage their vendor queries inboxes because speaking to lots of our customers and at the at the APA conference we were chatting to a lot of them and they all rolling their eyes saying you know it's so hard to manage their um their their shared vendor query inbox and so essentially we're going to be really helping with that generating responses um categorizing uh, filtering um and really just doing a lot of the heavy lifting for for your AP um 
sort of team team members. So yeah, watch this space. No, we'll we'll come back and do another uh, um, APTV on that um, when you're ready to launch. We're more than happy to support and promote. Um, any final comments before we wrap up? We've just hit ten minutes. We're just going over ten minutes. Um, closing comments. Yeah, don't think so. Well, thank you so much. It's been great. We love being part of the APA. Long may it continue. Um, and yeah, uh, reach out if you ever have any questions. Thank you, Paris. Thank you, and we very much look forward to seeing you out and about next year. Thank you.